right guys, hope you're having a great one. So it has been three months since we started the wine from Grape Concentrate. Nothing but the Grape Concentrate. So if you haven't seen the part one video, I will stick the link uh, up there, up there. Uh, it's flipped, it's somewhere. I think it's up there. Yeah, it is up there. Yeah, it is up there. Um, if you haven't seen the part one video. So I went ahead and bottled it up. Uh, it finished at 992. Basically, 11% is what I'm going for. I don't care about the, the small bits. So um, let's, let's crack one open and let's see if it's any good. Seems like a good plan. I'm, I'm just dying to know. So uh, hopefully you are too. Ah, there we go. So what we've got is a beautiful bottle with a fantastic label on there. I don't know where, I don't know where I get this. Great ideas. Um, and as you can see, it has a, I don't know, kind of apple juice, maybe stale urine like the look. Um, there are some wines that do have this dark color. Normally they're aged wines, um, either full bodied or sweet wines. I mean, we will see what this is like. I didn't try any when I bottled it up. I wanted to keep the suspense, but a uh, nice clean bottle. Do you know, I forgot a glass. Okay. Oh, and I've got a glass. Who watches the Watchman? It's a cool glass. Anyway, so bottle of wine, glass, me, we're good. So uh, let's open up a little bit of gas in there, but uh, it's added as a preservative. I add it as a preservative. Interesting. It is a little interesting. So let's pour out. A little bit, a little soup song. I mean, that has a pretty look. Now I'm just gonna get rid of this bottle and try not to pour the glass, which I nearly did, over my lap. Any downside to sitting down. But it is comfy. Right, stay. So it's got a little bit of carbonation in there, so I'm just gonna degas it for a minute. Oh yes. Plus you get some oxygen in there, you're being more fancy with your wines. Oxidation is not a bad thing. Most of the time. Get a good swill as you do, because well, you kind of got to, especially if you've got uh, no preservatives in there. That CO2 stops any possible, um, well, vinegar from getting in there. It's really handy, little tip. Though you can use preservatives, it's entirely up to you. I just don't like them. So, First impressions. Get in there. Smells like alcohol, smells like wine. Um, smells a little bit aged. Um, the grape concentrate that we used was basically meant as an addition for adding extra body and acidity and nutrients into a wine. So maybe this will be quite acidic? Don't know. Only one way to find out. Cheers. That's interesting. The first kind of, it's got a little bit of twang, that's the carbonation, still hasn't all gone. It's got a wine edge, it's got a little bit of an acid kick to it, as you would expect. A little bit pickled onion-ish. That isn't right. So, yeah. It does have a very slight kind of almost pickled onion taste. Not um, not entirely what I was expecting. I'm gonna try it again. Maybe it's just my taste buds. Could be. Wine. Wine. Pickled onion. Yeah. It kind of has a pickled onion taste. Um, it's not unpleasant, but I wasn't expecting pickled onions in uh, in the great concentrate wine. It could be the level, the balance of acid in there, but and it could be the fact that it is actually quite a young wine. It is, yeah, 
Not what I was expecting. Pickled onion wine. That's how you make it. Been told. We found out. So, this wine is kind of disappointing. I know it's a young wine and it will get better with aging, but at the same time, not that good. So I've topped up my glass and I've added some sweetener to it just to see, just to rapidly make it drinkable, because you can do that. It will lose a lot of the white wine-like notes, but is it drinkable now? Taste alcoholic. This tastes like a sweet wine now. A lot of those harsh edges, eh, harsh edges have disappeared, and um, that taste of pickled onion has gone. I'm not a great fan of sweet white wines, but if you were making this, or if you have made this, Going down the sweet wine route is probably your best bet. Uh, it's lost that taste of pickled onion, which I don't know where that came from, but that's in there. So, to conclude, you can make wine from grab from grape concentrate, and we will do some in the future. I'm sure there is the right balance uh, from grape concentrate to water and everything ratio to get a decent wine out of it. There is promise. It's just, we used far too much. That is my opinion on this. So I am going to leave the bottles to age for a year or something like that, or longer. Longer is probably better. And we'll come back to it and see how it is then, after a proper aging for the for a while. Give it a fair chance, but um, yeah. All being said, we could have just used a kit wine. There we go, just said. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Have a great one. Don't forget to check out some of the videos and well, subscribe if you feel like it. Carry on homebrewing. I will drink it because it's here and I can. See ya.